connections, connections. Warm it up, warm it up. Cause y'all need to know one thing about me. I am the terrorist, 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 terrorist. Seekers, it's your brother Berg coming at you from the extra caps uh, outside the box is where we're headed tonight, reminding you to keep shining your inner light. Let's go decipher some mysteries, all right? Now, on the agenda this evening is the attempted assassination of Judge Kukurik in Texas. Extremely suspicious, highly coded chock full of esoteric numerology and gematria that connects to some larger pieces of the puzzle as we will be exploring. I'm going to show you how this shooting of Judge Kukuruk on November 6 connects not only to the Kaufman County murders in 2013, also in Texas, but how it ties into the assassination of a federal judge in 1979 by none other than Woody Harrelson's old man. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? All right now, Texas judge was shot outside of her home in Tarrytown, Austin. Tarrytown, look at this, jumping right into it. Tarrytown, Texas equals 223, just like Skull and Crossbones, just like the Synagogue of Satan. 223 is the definition of 322, which is the number of Skull and Bones. The Secret Society from Yale, the Skull and Crossbones, this is the pirate symbol which they represent, and the Synagogue of Satan is the name of the false Jews who are also known as the Zionists, who are also the Freemasons, at the very tippy-top, the upper echelons, where they're interchangeable. Not about all of the rank-and-file members of Freemasonry. This is not about Jewish people. This is not anti-Semitic. That is a smokescreen that Zionism uses to get away with Everything they're getting away with. But forevermore, never again. Because now their secret's out in the open, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now we know the secret language of Gematria. Now we have the ability to decipher their secret messages. All of history. All propaganda. Coded up. Coded up so deep. With all of these fractal fractal harmonics, numerology, and once you understand this language, you'll see the truth. You'll see through, excuse me, you'll see through all the bullshit. See what's really going on. None of this is accident. None of this is coincidence. When they drop Colorado River here, you know, they don't, they don't need to put this on a map. But they do because 74, it's one of the big numbers, just like Masonic occult killing. And so much of this story, while she survived, the greater saga of judge assassinations and political assassinations, which aren't so political, more sorcerous, as we'll be getting into, is all about Masonic occult killings, Masonic hitmen doing the killing. Kill. 59. This number coded a lot. Downtown Austin. That's why they say downtown Austin and not just Austin. An occult conspiracy, which this is. And the judge of all people equals 113, just like the timestamp, does it? Now, the judge of all people, this is not God. This is these psychos pretending to be God. These parasites. They gotta go, man. This is what this awareness is doing. Next slide. All right, now Judge Kukurik was shot on 116. Texas Judge in Gematria equals 116. If you flip that upside down, you get District Judge Julie Kukurik equals 119. This is the Zionist number. 119 equals Star of David, which is a hexagram, which a hexagram is a two-dimensional version of the three-dimensional Merkaba. Which is to 
inverted pyramids counter rotating as the energy body, which we can discuss in a, another video. All seeing eye equals 119, order of death equals 119, as if it's the nickname for all of this, the all seeing eye behind it, the Zionists, above the big brother from another dimension. Now, in case you doubt this, the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is visiting the White House tomorrow, November 9th. What an auspicious date for the numerologists, the occult psychos. It's a plot, as that is the date, right? Reverse 911. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. 119 has been coded a lot lately. And she was shot outside of her home on a date with 52 numerology, which stands for Freemasons and Assassination. Again, Freemasons in the time, 1115, just so deep coded right off the hop. Now, get this Judge Julie Kokurik equals 188. Targeted by Sniper, 188. Hitman equals 188. Just total fractal harmonic lock all the way across the deck. Right? More conspiracy numbers, Freemason, Zionism, connections. See how they're just tied together all over the place. 69, her name. Texas equals 69. False flag equals 69. Benjamin Netanyahu is another fingerprint. Kukurik equals 48, the Illuminati propaganda hoax crime number, which is the mirror of 84. Obama equals 84. Obama was born on 84. Obama was a lawyer. Lawyer equals 84. Kukurik was a lawyer. If something were to happen to Obama... Then there would be President Joe Biden equals 84. President of the United States of America equals 84. 84 equals Austin, the home where she was shot. Right? Just perfect fractal harmonics again. Judge Julie equals 104. The 44th President Barack Obama equals 104. It's another hint there, possibly. Etc. Etc. Here we have Julia. Judge Julie equals 41. Assassinated equals 41. Skull and Bones equals 41. 61. Spelt out equals 4161 is the year that Obama was born. It happened in Travis County equals 187. If you're familiar with hip-hop, you know this is the police code for homicide. Travis County District Court, 123. Conspiracy equals 123. Easy as psychological warfare. Easy as 123 as well. Kukurik equals 39. Now get this. Has been the presiding judge of the 390th District Court for 13 years. And when you reduce... In numerology, you drop the zeros, so this is a parallel. Another harmonic synchronicity. And for 13 years, now this 1, 3, 13 will be repeating a lot in this saga. And check out the first four digits of her surname. 11, 6, 33. Like 116, like Texas Judge, like 116, the day she was shot, in her name, meant to be, in the stars, written, all part of the code. Does this mean that she was planted here in order to play this role? Did it happen to her because of her numbers? Is it all a hoax? And of course, the 33, the day that the story breaks... 11 plus 7 plus 15. And in the video on the CNN propaganda, it lasts at 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Masonic ritual murder also equals 234. The timestamps are coded as well. Pretty much every time you're seeing a number, you can ask yourself, what is that trying to tell me? And then you can bust out the calculator. Do it, your, do it yourself. You can bust out one of the websites that does it for you start taking a taking notes start making a your own codex and start connecting the dots it's mind-blowing all right now this license plate shot was shown seven times in a two minute and 34 second clip ask yourself why would they do that are they just recycling the same five second stock footage that they've got or is it because they're trying to drill this subliminal message into your subconscious as if our subconscious mind knows what this means the fractal harmonics that we can decode on a deep level of the sacred geometry behind this 
whereas the forefront, we only see it as numbers, which just could mean nothing completely random unless you know this secret language of gematria. Then you can decipher this license plate as 125 equals brainwashing, 63 equals masonry, 33 equals masonry, like the date that this happened on. Death equals 38. And if you cut this out, if it's just 33 and then you keep the 6 and the 8, Barack Obama equals 68. Hmm. And Ed Levandera, perfect guy to report on the job. His name is a perfect match with Freemason and Zionism. It's 42, an important number. To the psychos behind the scenes. All right, now, this is Judge Kukurik, and they say that she's in extremely serious condition. Whenever they put something in quotations, it's basically a big-ass neon sign saying, Look me up. Calculate my gematria. I have a subliminal message to tell you. I'm full of secrets. Extremely serious equals 233. MK Ultra Mind Control equals 233. And so much of the psychological warfare machine that is mainstream media propaganda assaulting the subconscious is under the umbrella of MK Ultra Mind Control. As are Masonic hitmen and mind control assassins, which we will get into in a little bit. But with 233, let's be aware of the idea that this is the 14th number of the Fibonacci sequence. And now here's the thing about 144. It's one of the most important numbers to the psychos behind the Gematria coding. It's a number that is connected in to basically all assassinations that I've researched, that others have researched. It stands for killer. Mark of the Beast equals 144. And speaking of which, if you sum the first 144 digits of pi, it equals 666. A number you may be familiar with. 144 also equals April 4th. 44 equals 144. And with regards to assassinations, the last American president to be shot in office was, of course, JFK, the 44th term president. The first American president to die in office, William Henry Harrison, died on 4-4. Martin Luther King Jr. shot on April 4th, 4-4. Alexander II of Russia escaped an assassination attempt on 404. Julius Caesar was assassinated in 44 AD. And now Obama is the 44th president. He ran on a platform of hope. Hope equals 44. Speaking of JFK, he's the 35th president and the only Catholic president. The word Catholic has a gematria of 35. See how it connects? Back to the story. CNN reminds us of the Coughlin County murders, which equals 101. Just like assassin equals 101. And now the curious thing about assassin and 101 is the 101st day of the year is April 11th, which can be expressed as 411. 411 in Jewish gematria equals assassin. JFK is said to have been shot from 411 Elm Street. Hmm... We're also in the time of the 114th Congress of the United States, and the former leader, John Boehner, has a name gematria of 114. The time is ripe for a blue-chip assassination. Now, this Coffin County murders of the prosecutor, the prosecutor's wife, and another prosecutor, by a former lawyer in 2013 may very well be a case of MK Ultra Mind Control. Coughlin County equals 48, just like Kukurik equals 48, the Illuminati hoax propaganda number. These two murders, 59 days apart. Kill equals 59. The first happened on 131.13, the second on 330.13, which is a numerology of 33. Look at all those friggin' ones and threes. 13 all across the deck, excuse me. The killer was Eric Williams, 133 for... A few more ones and threes. And this is especially curious. Once we calculate the time span between the attempted hit on Kukurik, November 6, 2015, 
with the story that we're about to get into of Woody Harrelson's father assassinating the Texas judge. That time span, look at this, 13,311 days. <laughs> wow. What a synchronicity, right? And it just continues to get juicier. This is another weird one, I'll tell you. Williams was arrested 77 days after the first murder. Two years ago this occurred. And now the time span between the first murder on 13113 and the shooting of Judge Kukurik was 277. Hmm, 277. These numbers reoccurring. Very curious, true seeker. All right, now here is Woody Harrelson's father, Charles Void Harrelson. What a name for a psychopathic serial killer. Void is his middle name. <laughs> now, Woody Harrelson's old man assassinated the first federal judge in the 20th century. And look at this fucking number right here. Holy shit. You seen this somewhere before? That's right. As we were covering, Texas judge shot outside home equals 105. Freemason equals 105. Royal Arch Freemasonry equals 105. Zionism equals 105. And then now the craziest part is this 116. Recall Kukurik. Her name starts, the KO of her name starts with an 116. Texas Judge equals 116, which is what Mr. Harrelson was eventually arrested for. Being a hitman, a Masonic hitman, as it turns out. Lone Gunman equals 116. Charles Harrelson is a suspect in the JFK assassination. The Lone Gunman theory. Might have been him. I mean, what a friggin' synchronicity this is. So it makes you wonder, is this all coded into the story of Judge Kukurik getting shot? Is it a tribute to the assassination of the federal judge in 1979. All right, now get a load of the gematria of Woody's old man. Charles Void Harrelson equals 247. Just like problem, corrupted politicians, gun. Kind of like you got a problem? Oh, corrupted politicians? We got a hired gun right here. But of course, this might all just be coincidence, which his name also has a shared gematria with. Woody's character in Natural Born Killers right here is Mickey Knox, which equals 130. Again, another 13. Pretty much the same number right here. Death Penalty Capital of the World equals 130, which is the nickname of Charles' birthplace, Huntsville, Texas. All just so tight and getting tighter. Charles Void Harrelson equals 121. Psychopathic serial killer equals 121. Antichrist, blood sacrifice, all 121. Harrelson, the surname, equals 47. Judge equals 47. Like they were soulmates. The judge and Harrelson. Like they'd signed a contract before being reincarnated into this life in order to have that outcome occur. Harrelson also equals 56, like mind control, like assassin. Was he a mind controlled assassin? Could be. Star of David. Is there a brand name on it? Look at this though. Diane Lou Oswald equals 56, same as Harrelson. This is his third wife, an Oswald. And he's a suspect in the JFK assassination. I mean, it just gets crazier and crazier, Truth Seeker. He was born on July 23rd, 1938, which has a, a numerology of 68. He died at 68 in prison. Barack Obama equals 68. Assassinated equals 68. And of course, there was a 68 coded into that license plate, if you recall. He was born in 38. The word death is a gematria of 38. He killed... This Judge Wood in 1979. Murder 
has a gematria of 79. Assassination has an assassin has a has a gematria of 79. Too perfect. Just so coded. He killed Judge Wood at age 41. When he would Woody's old man was 41. 41 equals mass murder. Judge Wood equals 41. Assassinated equals 41. Just like Judge Julie. Judge Julie Kukurik. And there's the 61 again. And where not only Obama was born in 61, but Woody was born in 61 as well. Not just on any day. The exact same day as Charles Harrelson, his dad. Both on... July 23rd. <laughs> oh, boy, tree seeker. It just so happens to be the day before my birthday, but that's another story. Charles Harrelson died in prison on 315, the 74th day of the year. If you'll recall right from the beginning, we were talking about the importance of the 74. Masonic equals 74. Occult equals 74. Killing equals 74. Tie those all together, and you've got a pretty good summary, summary of what's going on here. And then this interesting bit, as the story goes, before being transferred to ADX Florence, the Alcatraz of the Rockies, Charles Harrelson attempted an escape from USP Atlanta 44 weeks and four days after the release of Natural Born Killers, his son's character based on himself. Maybe he wanted to go see it. Maybe they weren't showing it in prison and he heard good things and he had to break out to catch a screening. Makes sense. Now, if you'll excuse the behind-the-scenes look at this slide, which didn't quite make it off the drawing board, we can examine the similarities between 74 and 444, the number coded into the escape. This is the exact same as 74. These numbers are parallel translations. And you can't really see it down here, but... U.S. District Judge John H. Wood Jr. equals 122. Just like Elohim. Just like, by deception thou shalt wage war. Which is the motto of the Mossad. 122 is also the runtime of the director's cut of Natural Born Killers. U.S. District Judge John H. Wood Jr. also equals 131. A mirror of 13. That number again. 131 equals mass murder. 131 equals John F. Kennedy. 131, like the date of the first Coffin County murder, January 31st. And notice the Coffin County equals 113, like KC, K the 11th letter, C the 3rd. Like Judge Wood's death numerology. Like the timestamp on the Judge Julie story. John H. Wood Jr. equals 59. 59, the kill number. John F. Kennedy equals 59. Assassination equals 59. Downtown Austin equals 59. Judge Wood equals 104. Judge Julie equals 104. The president, the 44th president, Barack Obama, equals 104. As we were covering this again, just perfect synchronicities between Judge Wood, Judge Julie, matching up all across the deck, tying into Barack Obama. These blue chip assassination targets possibly foreshadowing something to come. And the propaganda then gives us this picture with the big 1818. Which, when you sum it, you get 36. Like the number of years it's been since Harrelson's dad assassinated Judge Wood. Law has a gematria of 36. Arrested equals a gematria of 36. No arrest yet. No motive yet. And the sum of 136, if you go 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to 36, it equals 666. Just like the first 144 digits of pi. All right, now check out this print. It's like going to the microfiche here. This is the newspaper clipping from the day after Judge Wood was assassinated. 
Of course, it's chock full of Gematria subliminal messaging as well. Wood called off of his guards equals 101. As we covered, 101 equals assassin. U.S. Judge Wood slain equals 73. Ritual sacrifice equals 73. Shot in back near home equals 100. Masonic ritual murder equals 100. And as an aside, this really reminds me of shot in the back by Mad Dog Buford Tannen over a matter of $50. 50 is a number that we've been seeing coded a lot. We'll talk about that one another time. As for Judge Wood, he was shot on a date with 113 numerology. 5 plus 29 plus 79 equals 113, which is the mainstream dishonest number. Also, 42, we, if you recall the 42 and the importance of this, Freemason, Zionism, Satanism, Kennedy equals 42. Magic Bullet equals 42. Masonic Hitman equals 139. Now get a load of the harmonic matches with Masonic Hitman. As if these are synonyms, all part of the same theme, they all tie together brilliantly. Freemasonry equals 139. Punishment equals 139. Executioner equals 139. The killing of the Divine King, which is the Masonic ritual behind these blue chip assassinations, especially of the King of Camelot, JFK. Ford's Theater equals 139. The location of Lincoln's assassination. Julius Caesar equals 139. Of course, he was killed in 44 AD. 58 equals Masonic hit. Now we've seen that number all over the place. Freemasonry, destruction, agenda. Mickey Knox is a character. 67 satanic killers, serial killings, all just perfect synonyms, perfect definitions, perfect matches to put in the basket of the Masonic hitman. Now get a load of this. Mr. Harrelson, the Masonic assassin, killed Judge Wood 56 days. Wait, 56 days before his son Woody's 18th birthday. 56 equals Harrelson. Assassin equals 56. Woody was 17. Kill equals 17. The three kill numbers, 59, 17, 44. We've covered them all in this story. Also, 56 days is one month, 25 days. Like brainwashing equals 125. Like the number from the aforementioned license plate. All right, now here's where it gets weirder because when Charles Harrelson was arrested for the assassination of Judge Wood, he confessed to killing JFK. He even drew a picture showing exactly where he was hiding on Elm Street. He later said that he was just kidding, and nothing ever stuck. But as the story goes, Charles Harrelson is put forward as one of the three tramps, which equals 62, same as dead presidents equals 62, ritual murders equals 62, Mason equals 62, and tramps is a 33 word. He's been involved with criminals connected to intelligence agencies in the military, a.k.a. the dark occult circles of secret societies, and he was an affiliate of Jack Ruby, the dude who shot Oswald. All Masonic hitmen, I'm telling you. Now let me read something from Michael A. Hoffman, classic, Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare. A widely publicized image, which has become perhaps the key symbol of the enigma of the Kennedy hoodwink, emerged immediately in the wake of the assassination. A photograph of three tramps, in official custody, who were later unexplainably released and never identified, though speculation about who they really were has reached fever pitch among investigators. This is the shot of the 
tree trams. This photograph is a ritual accompaniment of the Black Mass that was the ceremonial immolation of a king, the unmistakable calling card of Masonic murder, the appearance of Jubella, Jubello, and Jubellum, the three, quote, unworthy craftsmen of Temple Burlesque that, quote, will not be blamed for nothing. The ultimate purpose of that assassination was not political or economic, but sorcerous. For the control of the dreaming mind and the marshalling of its forces is the omnipotent force in this entire scenario of lies, cruelty, and degradation. Something died in the American people on November 22, 1963. Call it idealism, innocence, or the quest for moral excellence. It is the transformation of human beings which is the authentic reason and motive for the Kennedy murder. And to tie it into Natural Born Killers, because we can't not decipher this beauty, Natural Born Killers, look at this, equals 222. TV equals 222. Hell equals 222. All words that match perfectly with this movie, which is all about MK Ultra Mind Control, really. It was released on a date with 58, 58 numerology. Again, 58 equals Masonic Hitman, Freemasonry, Destruction, Agenda, Mickey Knox. Well, what do you hear? It also has a numerology, the release date, of 128, which has the gematria of the media made them superstars, which was the movie's tagline. August 26, when you spell out the release date, equals 59. There it is again, the kill number. Like kill, John H. Wood Jr., John F. Kennedy, assassination. The flick of the standard runtime of 119 minutes. Remember the number of the Zionists, those false Jews? Where District Judge Julie Kukurik also equals 119, where she was shot on 11-6, like Texas Judge equals 11-6, like the 105-11-6 mugshot. Excuse me. Number of Woody's pop pop. My God. And finally, get a load of these numbers. Mickey equals 66. Charles equals 66. Just further proof that the character is coded after his father. He said that he based the character on his father, but now the Gematria proves that it was directly connected as a tribute, numerologically speaking. Subliminal messaging directed straight into the subconscious mind. 33 equals 66. Mallory equals 33. Mallory equals 96, same as Freemason, Satanism, MK Ultra. Mickey and Mallory, as they were called, 63. Just like Freemasonic, just like terrorism, just like mass mind control. And now you know a little bit more than you did a few minutes ago. Peace.